Hello folks, welcome to my channel, Corso di Tromba. Before starting, I would like to remind you that 70% of you are not subscribed to my channel, so please, I'm gonna remind you to subscribe if you would like to see more of my free contents. Today I'm gonna answer some common questions that I've received from my students in my uh, website course. So we will discuss about the embouchure visualizer, the spirometer, and the burp, and then others. Let's start with the first question. How do you use the visualizer with the trumpet? Actually, we are not using the embouchure visualizer with the trumpet. It's, it's just working as you place it in your lips and it's used to see what's happening inside your lips. It's a very valuable tool for improving the positioning of your lips and mouth while playing. It provides an immediate visual feedback uh, it will help you to maintain a correct embouchure and to monitor unwanted movements. Uh, this will enhance your precision in the sound production and uh, it will also correct any bad habits that you previously had. Second question. What's the goal of using the burp while practicing? Well, this is actually a tricky question and it really depends on your technical level with the trumpet. For beginners, the burp is useful because it allows you to practice taking care of the right pitch. For example, if you are using the pistons while using the burp, you automatically improve your intonation, the sound quality and also the, preci the precision of the attack. However, it's not that automatic, it requires consistency over time. I personally believe that burp uh, should primarily be used to work on achieving the right intonation for the notes you are playing especially if you are a beginner. Why are all these tips available for free on our YouTube channel? Because if you want a complete course in order to play the trumpet from scratch or improve your skills, you can purchase our video courses. If you buy now, you can take advantage of the discount, only 23.9 euros instead of 277 euros. Don't miss the opportunity to study the trumpet with me in the From 0 to 100 video course. You will find the link in the description below. And if you are wondering, how do you use the spirometer? To maximize its benefits, you should practice specific exercises. For example, right now you can see that the goal is to keep the ball high till the end of the sound, till the end of the exercise. But there are other kind of spirometers. So for example, this one, you can see that the goal is to maintain a constant air volume during inhalation, just like you are seeing now, both inhalation and also then exhalation. But what if you are using a briefing bag, like this one? Well, the situation is slightly different. I prefer using a freezer bag or for food, you know, because it's cheaper and hygienic. In fact, I can replace it periodically without spending much. A pack, a box, is costing about 2 euros and it lasts me at least a year with regular practice. In this specific case, if you are using this bag, just start very easy and with comfortable inhalation and exhalation and gradually increase the intensity and the difficulty, as we already do in briefing exercises here on YouTube. In general, try to alternate deep and slow breathing with faster and more agile patterns, focusing on maintaining a constant airflow. This will improve lung efficiency, breath control and consequently also your endurance while you are practicing because the whole process is more efficient. Before concluding this video with the last question, I would really like to remind you that when we are uh, studying the, um, our breathing, we are not really trying to have more capacity of air. We are just trying to make the process more efficient. That's why after you do several briefing exercises, you feel that you can have longer phrases, you can play effortless. That's because you are playing in a more efficient way. The, you have the same amount of air as before, but you're just playing in a more efficient way. Finally, the last question. When is the right time to start using all these tools? Well, unfortunately, there is not really a right answer because it really depends on your technical level. Um, in fact, if you are a beginner or whatever, uh, you, should, you should always uh, ask for your teacher 
what should I do? Should I use the burp now or the embouchure visualizer? What should I do? The bag? Should I improve what of my uh, skills level? I can tell you that at a professional level, most of us use these briefing tools uh, on a daily basis because actually we need to simplify the process as much as we can in order to be able then to perform at our best with a very clear and simple idea to follow. That's all for today. I hope that this video uh, helped you in some ways and that maybe uh, now you have a better understanding of how it, how it works uh, to you know, use these tools with the trumpet. Remember to subscribe here on our YouTube channel to stay updated for the next uh, YouTube videos that we will upload. And well, thank you for joining us and uh, have a good practice session if you will. Bye.